The ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine has highlighted the importance of advanced military capabilities in modern warfare. In particular, the deployment of long-range missile systems has become a crucial factor in determining a country's military strength due to their ability to strike targets from afar and inflict significant damage on enemy forces. They allow countries to project power beyond their own borders, deterring potential aggressors, defending against attacks as well as achieving strategic objectives with minimal risk to their own personnel. The High Mobility Artillery Rocket System, or HIMARS, and the Storm Shadow Missile are two such systems that have gained attention in the conflict. In this episode, we will compare and contrast the capabilities of HIMARS and Storm Shadow and analyze their potential impact on the Russia-Ukraine war. Stay tuned. First of all, let's have a look at their overview. HIMARS and Storm Shadow are two different types of missiles used for different purposes and by different countries. HIMARS is a multiple rocket launcher and tactical ballistic missile system designed and manufactured by the United States. It is a mobile artillery system that can launch various types of rockets and missiles, including the Army Tactical Missile System, or ATACMS, and the Guided Multiple Launch Rocket System, or GMLRs. It has a range of up to 186 miles and can engage targets at both short and long ranges. On the other hand, Storm Shadow is a long-range air-launched cruise missile developed jointly by France and the United Kingdom. It is a precision-guided missile that can be launched from a range of aircraft, including the Eurofighter Typhoon and the Panavia Tornado. Storm Shadow has a range of over 249 miles and is designed to penetrate heavily defended enemy airspace to strike high-value targets, such as command and control centers, air defense systems, and key infrastructure. Unit cost. Storm Shadow, which has been in service since 2002, was designed by Matra Bay A Dynamics and manufactured by MBDA. The unit cost of the missile varies from $954148 to $2.7 million in fiscal year 2023. HIMARS, in contrast, has been in service since 2010 and has been extensively used in a range of conflicts, including the war in Afghanistan, Syrian civil war, Iraqi civil war, and recent Russia-Ukrainian war. This system is designed and produced by Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control with a unit cost of $4 million per launcher plus carrier in 2021 and $168,000 per M31 GMLRs. So far, over 540 HIMARS have been built. Ranges. The HIMARS is a multiple rocket launcher system that can be highly adaptable based on the armament used. Its effective range is around 5.6 miles if it's equipped with MLRS, but the range can go up to 310 miles if it's equipped with PRSM or Precision Strike Missile. The adaptability of HIMARS makes it a versatile system that can be used in various scenarios. On the other hand, Storm Shadow is a long-range, air-launched cruise missile designed for precision strikes. It has an operational range of over 350 miles when it flies at a low-altitude, low-observable profile. The export version of Storm Shadow has a range of over 155 miles. The missile is designed to be highly accurate and effective against a wide range of targets, including command centers, ammunition storage facilities, and supply lines. These capabilities make Storm Shadow an essential asset for countries that want to strike deep inside enemy lines with precision. The combination of HIMARS and Storm Shadow missiles provides a comprehensive and effective capability for countries seeking to improve their military capabilities and gain an edge over their adversaries. Engine. Storm Shadow and HIMARS have different types of engines with different specifications. Storm Shadow is powered by a Turbo Mecha Micro Turbo Tri-60, 30 turbojet engine, which can produce 5.4 kilonewton of thrust. This type of engine is commonly used for small aircraft and missiles that require high thrust-to-weight ratios. 
On the other hand, HIMARS uses a Caterpillar 3116 ATAC 6.6 .6 liter diesel engine that is capable of producing 290 horsepower. This type of engine is commonly used for heavy duty vehicles such as trucks and buses. While both engines are designed to power military equipment, they serve different purposes. The high thrust to weight ratio of the turbojet engine in Storm Shadow allows it to achieve high speeds and long ranges while carrying a significant payload. The diesel engine in HIMARS, on the other hand, provides the power needed to transport the launcher and its rockets over rugged terrain while maintaining fuel efficiency. HIMARS and Strom Shadow in Russia-Ukraine War In recent update, the United Kingdom has supplied Ukraine with the Storm Shadow missile system, fulfilling a long-standing request from Kiev for long-range missiles. The missile system was authorized after continued Russian attacks on Ukraine, and it equips Ukraine with a potent new capability to strike important targets deep inside enemy lines, such as command centers, supply caches, and bridges. The donation aims to help Ukraine defend itself against Russia's continued brutality and complement Ukraine's existing missile systems. It also appears that the ATACM's capability of Ukraine's existing HIMARS launchers has been temporarily removed. However, Western allies of Kyiv are cautious about providing Ukraine with weapons capable of striking within Russian territory. The Storm Shadow missiles have a broached tandem warhead, or Bomb Royal Ordnance Augmented Charge, that can penetrate hardened targets, including bunkers. This type of tandem warhead used in missiles consists of two stages. The first stage to penetrate the target's armor, and the second stage to explode inside the target. In addition, the Missile Guidance System combines an inertial navigation system, GPS, and terrain referencing. The UK government received assurances from Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky that the missiles would be used solely for defensive purposes, although it does not rule out their use against Russian-occupied parts of Ukraine, including Crimea. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov warned that Moscow would respond militarily if Ukraine used the Storm Shadow missiles. The donation is welcomed by the Shadow Defense Secretary of the Labor Party, John Healy, as it will strengthen Ukraine's fight against the Russian forces as the Ukrainians prepare for their expected counteroffensive. Although the true range of Storm Shadow missiles is debated, their manufacturer puts it at over 155 miles. When combined with other weapons, such as JDAM and HIMARS, Storm Shadow will force Russia to consider the range at which the Ukrainians can strike back, says David Jordan of the Freeman Air and Space Institute. Military experts suggest that Storm Shadow missiles will be useful for Ukraine to target command centers, ammunition storage facilities, and supply lines. That's it for today's video. Thanks for watching.